Here on this very important day, the 21st night of September, we want to make sure that we cover every single one of the Zappelli family, no matter how small or questionably part of the family they actually may be. So that's right, I'm dedicating this video to one of the most forgettable Zappellis out there. That's right, you guessed it, it's Gyro Zappelli's Horse Valkyrie. Valkyrie is a four-year-old Australian stock horse, which is a type of horse breed bred specifically to fit the Australian conditions. A breed of horse that is notable for its endurance, agility, and good temperament, meaning that they make great allies and really good racing companions. Which is exactly the reason why Gyro selects Valkyrie in the first place. He even says that Valkyrie's been running or sprinting since it was born. Now the reason that Australian stock horses are so impressive is that when Australia was growing as a nation, they imported nine different types of horses as of January 1788, allowing the horses to mix and breed with each other until they reached a point where they decided to implement selective breeding which they took the most efficient and strongest horses and made them breed with each other, making Valkyrie one of the toughest horses in all the Steel Ball Run race. She's going up against a bunch of quarter horses, I mean, come on, and some Appaloosans. Because if you think about it, she's like a god in comparison to the rest of the horses. Her namesake, though, comes from the Valkyries, of course, but that's not the only namesake it could be coming from. But the Valkyries themselves are the Norse god Odin's 12 handmaidens. These handmaidens' jobs were to gather fallen warriors from the battlefield and carry them to Valhalla. This is very befitting of Gyro's horse, as Valkyrie is not just physically carrying Gyro through races and battlefields, but she also carries Gyro's corpse home to Italy. Though, as I mentioned, this isn't the only possible reason behind the name selection. You see, since Steel Ball Run is a different take on events from previous JoJo Bizarre Adventure parts, it's like adding a style of its own to those parts in specific. And if you view JoJo's Bizarre Adventure as a musician's work and all the parts as albums, then you have to see Steel Ball Run as kind of like a bootleg album, or someone mixing other albums together into like a greatest hit fan album of some sort. And well, Led Zeppelin had quite a few of these in the past, but one of the most popular is the Valkyrie. Vigil. You see, since a Valkyrie is supposed to take fallen warriors from the battlefield, the Vigil of a Valkyrie would be something akin to what Valkyrie does in Steel Ball Run. This would allow us to tie both Valkyrie the Horse to Led Zeppelin and Valkyries of North Mythology, making their name mean a lot more than just a Valkyrie or something cool like that. But I think that might be what Araki was originally going for, and that Valkyrie doesn't really have a true musical reference besides possibly the Ride of the Valkyries, which is a very huge operatic song Song, which is very popular and it might also be the song in which Valkyrie takes their name from so so there's many possible options when it comes to the name of Valkyrie but I'm gonna go with the one that ties mostly to Led Zeppelin given that the Zeppelis are very connected to Led Zeppelin the band itself being that it is one of Iraqi's favorite bands moving on to Valkyrie's design she is a dark brown Australian stock horse with a black leather strap that runs from her face to her neck Valkyrie's colors are very similar to the depictions of the horses the Valkyries of Norse mythology rode into battlefield to pick out their warriors. It also has bandages wrapped around its legs from the injuries that it takes during the race, but also to keep its legs strong and in peak performance. Valkyrie's design seems to mimic that of its rider. Its striped patterns appear to be both similar to Gyro's shirt and his hat. You can also see and tell that Gyro and Valkyrie have a solid history, as Valkyrie is very expressive when working with Gyro, and Gyro knows her history. Not to mention that for the perfect rotation to work, Gyro and Valkyrie need to be moving in perfect motion. Now Valkyrie's function in the story is very simple. She was chosen by Gyro as a secret weapon for the Steel Ball Run race. Since no other racer would have a horse like Valkyrie, that would give Gyro the advantage of a surprise factor. Not to mention that surprise factor would be taking into account Gyro would be using his steel balls, which is again the reason why he needed a durable horse, because he would use the steel balls on the horse or on himself or on things around the horse, so the horse needed to be able to take a little bit of punishment. That's why Valkyrie's breed was chosen specifically. It is also possible that Valkyrie's breed is very popular among the Zapellis, as Gyro mentions, the Zapellis also used to work with horse-backed units. So, what would be the perfect type of horse, but whatever the strongest horse is. So I'm imagining that the Zapelli family was always looking into what's the strongest breed of horse at the time. Though, unlucky for Gyro, Valkyrie does have a little quirk about her. You see, she sways to the left after 
every eighth breath, which can be taken advantage of by people who understand horses, such as Diego or maybe Johnny if he really paid enough attention. But this isn't too major of a downfall, and it shows that the horse actually has a bit of character to it. It has something original about it. Valkyrie is more than just a name and a horse. You see, Valkyrie is more than just an animal. She's a very loyal companion to Gyro. She's there for him in every major battle he takes place in, and Valkyrie is even there for every time that Johnny is taught a lesson by Gyro. And finally, Valkyrie is there to carry Gyro home, to his Valhalla in Italy. Because no matter how big or how small, how human or how hoarse, every Zeppelli matters, and we should always remember on the 21st night of September that every Zeppelli matters, and that you should donate to my Patreon. And that you should buy Shimonetta.